Hey, Bowflex family! Welcome, welcome! Happy Monday! I am Amy, and today we are doing a live 30-minute kettlebell Metcon workout. So Metcon stands for metabolic conditioning, metabolic training, keeping that heart working hard so we make the most of our calorie burn, we make the most of our muscle burn. We're gonna get it done and we're gonna get it done all in 30 minutes. If you are here, say hello. I love seeing who is able to join live. So say hi, we're gonna get started in just a second. I'm gonna be using my Bowflex Select Tech Adjustable Kettlebell today. You can go anywhere from eight pounds to 40 pounds. So I'll be adjusting uh, back and forth on the dial. If you have a kettlebell, use it. If you have options, always good to go up and down the weight depending on the exercise, depending on what you personally need. If you don't have a kettlebell, use a dumbbell or just move your body. You can keep it body weight as well. We are just here to move our bodies, to get our Mondays going. Let's get it done. So make sure you have some space. Go ahead and grab a quick sip of water, a little pre-hydration. I like to call it, hey, Karina is here. It has been a while since you've been able to do a live. I'm so glad to see you. Hey, Sebastian is here. Let's see who else is joining. You can go ahead and start just warming up. Go ahead and start moving your body. Doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're moving. Shake everything out. Let it all go from the weekend. Try not to think about your to-do list for the week. And let's just get ready to move. Let's take those arms one at a time. Big stretch to the back. And big circles to the front. Yes. And then let's take those hands behind the head. Let's just get a nice hinge, often called a good morning, right? Just like this, drive those hips back, soft bend in the knees. Here, open up the chest. And then let's take, reach those hands down, bring them up and pull them back. So a little pull down, reach, still getting the hinge, and then the pull down and up one more right here good take those hands right on top of the legs let's just roll through just a standing cat cow just right here just like that really moving through your spine and then take those hands all the way down if this is good for you we're going to open up those hips you can also be here just a little movement side to side and then if you're able we're going to walk it back and then walk it in. You can come all the way up in between big reach. So take it down, knees wide, step back, step back, step in, step in. Bring it up. Let's get a few more just like that. Take it down, wide. Good. And last one. Good, let's take it back to that plank and hold it if you can. If you need to, drop to those knees. That's okay too. We're just going forward and back just to get the core warmed up and ready to go. And then let's press up down dog. Woo! And back to center. That's where I really feel that tightness, right? Down dog and breathe. Down dog. One more. And then walk those hands back. Let's bring it up right here. Take it with some little knee crosses right here. All right, so metabolic conditioning. Here's how it's gonna work, team. We're gonna start with a strength move for 45 seconds using your kettlebell. Then we will get 30 seconds of a body weight cardio where we can really go for speed, get that heart pumping. Then we will put them together for 40 seconds to really round out that metabolic conditioning. Let's reach over right here, just like this. Big stretch while we keep that heart pumping. So 45 seconds of strength, 30 seconds body weight cardio. Put them together with your weight to round out the metabolic conditioning. The goal with metabolic training is just to keep everything working hard so our rest periods will be short. Let's reach across here. And if you need more of a breather, certainly take it, get water, when you need to, but we'll have time in between those circuits. We'll also work in some swings, of course. Go ahead and shake everything out. 
Watch me, we're gonna start with a row on each side. So, medium to heavy weight. We're gonna stagger it here. We're actually gonna get 45 seconds each side. So we'll get a little breather in between, shake it out. Back muscles, so important. Those muscles all down the spine. Posture muscles, I call them, to really combat everything that we do at our computers, driving, on our phones. So go ahead and grab a heavy to medium weight. You can stagger it here, core engage. Let's hinge it, three, two, one, bring it up here. Hey, Lori, happy Monday to you. So flat back, you should really think you're pulling that weight towards the rib cage, right? As we pull that elbow in, you're not only pulling it in, but you're pulling it up. So up to the sky, but squeeze those shoulder blades and not rotating in the shoulders, but right through here, up and in. I like to sometimes take this other hand out because it helps me keep a nice flat back. If the staggered is not right for you, you can just be here. But we do want to be hinged. We got 10 seconds. Squeeze down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Give yourself a little breather. Stretch out on your back. And let's do same thing other side. So we've got 15, uh, 45 seconds here. Roll those shoulders back, core engaged, hinge it. Here we go. Bring it up. So starting with big muscles of the upper body. Then we'll get some cardio with big muscles of the lower body. Pull it in and squeeze. If you're starting to feel that low back, check yourself. A lot of times we end up being here. It almost feels like you're arching your back here, but you're keeping it nice and straight. And just think about contracting those back muscles. If you really think, I wanna keep everything tight and pulled in here, that's gonna keep you in the position that you need to be in. Pull it up, let it drop. Yes, 10 seconds, then we get a break from the weight. Five, four, three, two, one and relax. Set that weight to the side. We got 30 seconds of cardio. You have a few options. We're gonna be lunging it. You can just tap it back, you can lunge it, or if you're really feeling it, you can get that jump. Let's get it, 30 seconds. Here we go, body weight cardio. You can just alternate your lunge. You do not have to go high impact. Your heart rate's gonna get up either way. If you're not feeling like getting super deep in those lunges, just take it here. And again, if you want a little plyo option, a little jump at the top. We're coming in, drop it back. Coming in, drop it back. You got five to go. Four, three, two, one. Breathe. All right, team, here is where it gets fun. Let's put them together, so watch me. We're gonna do a row. And then a lunge. Row and a lunge. Here's the thing, you gotta make sure those feet get wide. Keep the weight in front. If you don't feel comfortable jumping, just lunge it down, tap it up. Row, lunge it down. 40 seconds, three, two, one, here we go. Flat back, row, and here. Flat back, row, and here. Or step it in, lunge it down. Step it in, lunge it down. This is what we mean by conditioning, right? Heart rate gets up, woo, right through here. But we're also getting power for our weight, right? Our strength work, we're getting power as we land in that lunge, power as we pull up in that row. Five, four, three, two, one, good, burn, catch your breath. Dixie is finishing her coffee, but is gonna do this later, whoo. Breathe, how do we feel? All right, we're gonna keep this rest period short, so go ahead and tap it out. We are gonna go into our first swing of the day. I'm actually gonna have everybody start with a deadlift so we can get a feel for that hinge motion. If you have the option to go a little heavier on your kettlebell, go for it. I'm gonna go up to start with 20. Bring that kettlebell in the center. Roll those shoulders back, we call it packing the shoulders. Not up here, but here, pulled in. Soft bend in the knees, starting with that hinge. We're here, 
we're up. So everybody join me here. I just want everybody to start with your classic deadlift, just getting into that hinge movement pattern. And then we're gonna go into the swing in just a second. Core engaged. Let's go two more. Squeeze, connect at the top. Last one. Set that weight down. Now, if you're comfortable with a swing, if you've done it before, if you wanna try it, let it drop, power it up. You're gonna lock it out of the top. Glutes, hamstrings, core, back, not lifting with the arms, then let it drop, power it up, lock it out, let it drop. Try it, if you're more comfortable with the deadlift, keep it there. We got 30 seconds, wrap that core in, shoulders back, hinge it, three, two, one, power. Here we go. Drive it up, lock it out at the top. Notice I'm not going much higher than chest level. Sometimes I'll say chest to eye level. Not going over the head. Power through, lock it out. So this is your very traditional kettlebell swing. Push into those feet. Again, arms are not doing the work, but you are squeezing in the back as you power up with the lower body. Three, two, one, and relax. Bring it here, pedal those feet. Quick sip of water if you need it. We're gonna go into our next round. All right, team. So, this time, we're going to take it, whew, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. Again, we're starting upper body with our strength. A little bit different, right? So, you can hold the kettlebell by the horns here or here. You're gonna curl, press, down, and down. We got 45 seconds. Go ahead and grab that weight. Horns here or horns here. Whatever feels best for the weight that you have or two kettlebells. Let's get it done. Here we go. Up, up. I actually really like holding it upright like this with my Bowflex Select Tech. Because I can get more range of motion. But it depends again on the kettlebell that you have. 45 seconds of strength work, really isolating that upper body. We're here, down, up, down, down. Totally fine to be here too. Elbows are in. Press with the shoulders, but you're relaxing, right? So I see I get a little more space when I go here. But you do you. That's what I always say, be where you are today. Three, two, one, and relax. Kettlebell in the center. Here's what we got for our body weight cardio. We're just gonna do a squat tap down. So here, up, here, up. Low impact, just tap and tap. Either one works, let's get it done 30 seconds. I know what you're thinking, that was not very much of a rest, and that is part of it, right? Again, you can be here and here. This works too. I do want you dropping in those hips, so it's not this, it's this right? Just here. Drop the hips, nice flat back, drive it up with power. Either way, whether you're jumping or stepping, three, two, one, catch your breath. All right, team. Now we got 40 seconds whew, of Metcon together. Two options. You can do squat, curl, and press just like this. Squat it down, curl, Press, you're still gonna get a lot of conditioning that way. Or you can do a clean. If you're comfortable with a clean, double clean, toss to yourself, press it up. Squat, toss, press. Low to high. Either one works. We got 40 seconds. Squat, curl, and press. Squat, clean, and press. Shoulders back, Metcon. Here we go, 40. Breathe, down, up, up down, up, up, or squat, curl, press. Squat, curl, press. Either way, that heart is gonna be pumping. Down, up. Power on the way up. Yes, you can. 10 seconds to go. Breathe. Yes. Five. Four, three, two, one, boom. Ha, ah, shake it out, catch your breath. Ah, nice, 
team. Woo! All right, quick sip of water. We're gonna go into some core work. All right, classic core move. We're gonna get both sides of a kettlebell windmill. So you have two options. You can have that weight low. You're gonna take it here and bring it up. Or rack it, press it, take it down here to here. Either one is fine. We're going 20 seconds each side. So go ahead, get that kettlebell up or down. Here we go. Take it down. So it is a hip hinge. You're driving those hips to the back, but you're coming down that inside of the leg. Spot the bell or spot your hand. You're looking straight up. It's a shoulder mobility exercise as well. Breathe. Three, two, one. Rack it here. Take it to the other side. So again, you can be low or high. Whatever is best for you. We got 20 seconds. Up. Here we go. Down and up. Yes. And breathe. Take it low to high. Whoo. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That was fast, right? All right. So now we're taking it to a little bit of body weight cardio. We're going to step back in that plie squat, step it in. So it's that transverse squat. You can jump it or you can step it either way. Let's get that heart rate up for 30. Here we go. Down, reach, low impact is here. Low to high, breathe. So we're giving you this break in the middle of holding the kettlebell. So then when you get to that Metcon round, you can really go for it, right? Breathe. Also, to encourage you going a little bit quicker on that cardio. We get cardio holding the weight, but when we do body weight cardio, we can really pick up our pace, get some speed and agility work. Three, two, one, catch your breath. <sighs> All right, team, this is what this looks like. We are getting a low windmill into a plie. So watch me here, both toes out, windmill, plie, switch your sides, windmill, plie, all right? So you're gonna keep those toes out, we're gonna do down, plie, down, plie. Don't rush it, let's get it done. Lots of obliques, also getting flexibility and mobility, which feels good, and then power in that plie. 40 seconds in three, two, low windmill, plie, down, and breathe, switch. Whoo, little bit of balance, right? Down, and down, whoo, yes. Big stretch as you go down. Really think about that flexibility as you reach and then lots of obliques coming up. Power in the plie. Breathe, 10 to go. Down and down, yes you can. Three, two, one, yes. Good, shake it out. We are back to that swing. Then we got a few things on the mat. All right team, go ahead. Grab your heavier weight if you can. I'm taking it up to 25, why not? Once you are there, give yourself a second to do a couple deadlifts, get a feel for that movement pattern, and then let's get ready to swing it. Remember, we're gonna power it back, power it up, not power it back, let it drop, power it up, lock out, let it drop. Pin those shoulders back, squeeze in the back muscles, but don't lift in the arms. I know it sounds strange, but you can do it. Just pin those shoulders back, Almost as if you're squeezing something underneath your armpits, push into those feet, zip of the core, glutes and hamstrings. Let's get it done. Hinge it. Three, two, one, 30 seconds, power. Let it drop. I know we're moving quickly, but again, that's a lot of what Metcon is. Metabolic training, short rest periods, long work periods, making the heart and lungs work hard, making those muscles Work hard, really push into the feet. 
Lock at the top. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it down, yes. Pedal your feet right where you are. Grab a sip of water. Let's come down on the mat. Woo! Two thirds of the way through this workout. Let's go ahead and come on down. Again, a little bit of upper body. So if you notice our focus today, we've had a lot of weighted upper body and then cardio lower body and then full body weighted strength and conditioning. So go ahead and join me here. We are going to take it with your regular chest press and some core. So bring it down. You're gonna hold on either side. You're just gonna press it up and down. We're gonna start with just a regular press. If you feel like adding a bridge to that, you can, but you can also rest that lower body, focus on the upper body. We got 45 seconds straight up and down. Elbows are in so we get those triceps too. Chest press, close grip, 45 in three, two, one. Here we go, straight up and down. Little tilt of the pelvis so you keep the core engaged. So you're not arching that back, right? Breathe right through here. Take it up and down. Right here. Bridge is optional. Those glutes and hammies are tired after those swings. Take it up, drop it down. 15 seconds to go right through here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Set it down to the side, a little stretch, right? All right, so body weight core should give you a little cardio as well. Hands behind the head. We're going here to here, just like this. We're gonna go bicycle for 30. So again, tilt the pelvis in. If you're modifying, you can do a single leg bridge and knee, otherwise, Let's pull everything in, elbow to knee, tilt the pelvis, hips and ribs together. Here we go. Bicycle, 30 seconds. You do not have to rush it. I know technically our cardio round, but let's think of it as body weight core. Push and pull, push that leg out, pull that knee in, lift the shoulders. Everything is pulled in. Think of the movement coming from the center. I know we're moving our legs, and our shoulders and our elbows, but I want you to think that you're controlling the motion through the center. Three, two, one, relax it down. All right, team, so you guessed it, let's put it together. Classic combo move that I love. We're just doing a press and a bicycle. You don't have to move that upper body. Let's just press and bicycle. Let's get it done. Weight in the center, core engaged. Let's get that core burning in three, Two, one, 40 seconds. Here we go. And breathe. Yes, right? Strategic. It's a little sneaky of me to put those bicycles back to back because we really feel them. If you start to feel like you're losing that form, go ahead and put those feet down, tilt that pelvis again, readjust. Let's get everything pulled in as we press. Relax your upper body. So head and neck on the ground and focus on movement through the core and that strong press to the ceiling. Yes, team, four, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, core burner, ooh, right? Up onto your feet, team. Let's get it done. All right, I'm gonna go a little heavier with this. Because guess what? We're taking it to our lower body with some weighted work. Quick sit. All right, back to the top. We are working our way through this workout. So close, team. All right, we just want a lower body squat. I actually want you to touch it down and bring it up just like that. Then grab it, bring it up. So it's a squat drop. So actually let yourself drop the weight carefully, of course and then come up and then reach back down and grab it. So squat the whole time, 
all the way through 45 seconds shoulders back core engaged here we go squat drop all the way up so as you come up out of it you'll feel that it's almost like a cross between a squat and a deadlift right squat it down bring it up here and up really connect with that core and pelvic floor inner thighs and glutes try to get low whatever is in your comfort zone and your mobility yes you can 15 seconds breathe yes strong legs all the way through five four three two one yes team all right set that weight down we're gonna take it to a mountain climber if you need to keep it standing you can go here for four otherwise we got 30 seconds bring it down drive those knees in here we go in so coming into your chest you do not have to be super fast in fact i told you i would rather you drive the knees in more with a walk or a little hop step then try to go fast but keep them back here let's really think about the core coming in everything pulled in 10 seconds to go Whew. breathing into it five four three two one pop it up all right team so you guessed it <laughs> let's squat it down pop it back climber for four jump it up i'm going to show you once you got that weight take it down pop it back run it four three two one pop it up come all the way up with the weight the thing i want you to think about as you come up is that you really adjust flat back bring it up think about coming out of a deadlift and a squat right here we go we got 40 seconds no rounded back on the way down or the way up squat climber for four pop it up all the way up here we go <sighs> drive it down pop it back run it four three two one pop it up all the way up yes team and back four three two one you may have to set yourself back a little further you can go here if you need to you can cross those knees all the way up yes team four three two one Feel free to walk them if you're not into the impact today. Last one. Four, three, two, one. Huh. And up high. Shake it out. Catch your breath. How about we get one more swing and then we're gonna stretch it out. Let's get it done. We got core cardio, lower body on that. Let's get some swing. Getting all that in. So heavy weight, last swing. Catch your breath. There's that metabolic conditioning, right? Whoo! Take it here. Let's prep it with that deadlift. Get a few. Feel for that movement pattern. It's like we just did that, right? And then here we go. 30 seconds. Hinge it. Three, two, swing. Here we go. Last 30. Power up. Lock out. Let it drop. Lock it out. Let it drop. Push into those feet. Shoulders pinned back. Connect with the core as you lock out glutes and hamstrings. Post to your chain, so that's all the way up the back of your body. Is powering it up, then stopping the movement, then letting it drop. Three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal your feet right here, team. Whoo! Yes. All right, go ahead and come down on your back. Let's sneak in one last core, which is also going to stretch out our hamstrings you know I love it modification you just get a real hamstring stretch otherwise let's get our scissors lift those shoulders pull in that flex foot so you stretch out what we just worked and then we finish with a little core 30 seconds here we go so in Pilates we often pull in for two it's up to you if you need more of a stretch up there if you need to keep your shoulders down that works too. You can also grab on the back of the thigh. Just make sure you're not grabbing right on that knee joint, calf or thigh. And again, everything's pulled in. Even though we're moving through the legs, movement's coming from here. 
We got five, four, three, two, and one. Hug those knees in, in whatever way is comfortable for you. Hug the knees in, gentle roll side to side. Stretch out through your back. Ah, hopefully you're feeling it all over. We got full body today. Drop those knees to the side. Open up, look away from your knees and you get a nice good back stretch. If that's not right for you, just open those arms, keep those knees in the center. Whew. Gently roll through to that other side. We're not gonna stretch very long, so of course make sure you get a little stretching on your own. Always, always helpful if you can. Let's cross one leg over. You can even start it down here. If that's not right for you, you can do it from a seated position as well. Lift that knee up. If you can, grab underneath, press that knee away. Nice, good hip stretch. Really good one to get throughout your day. And then let's switch that the other side. Make sure you check out all of our other workouts here on the Bowflex YouTube channel. Bree is here live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm here on Mondays and everything that we do live stays up on the channel. So you have tons of full body workouts, isolated workout, upper body, lower body, cardio, stretch to choose from that you can do at any time for free. So check it out. Go ahead and roll to your side. Come up into that child's pose. Just sit back right through here. Little press side to side with your shoulders sit back into the hips. And of course, leave us a comment. Let me know what you thought. Come up, roll through your back cat cow just a few times at your own pace. Now would be a great time to get one of Bree's short stretching workouts if you have time for it. Go ahead and come to the center, big stretch over. Thank you, Karina. Loved the plie and the windmill. I'm so glad in that last round, good for you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you to everyone who's doing this workout later. I will see you next time. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. I'm Amy here with Bowflex. That was your 30 minute kettlebell Metcon. Have a great week, everybody.